Hi, this is an introduction to how to set up an X-carve to carve something. Now, an X-carve, you can see, is much larger, and we wind up doing larger projects in them, but they get set up a little bit differently. Here is the spindle, okay, and it's very similar to a carvey, just a few extra steps. Now, this piece needs to get clamped down, okay. And it can be clamped down. It doesn't need to be exactly in the corner. You can put it in the corner. It might be easier in some ways. But in other ways, it might be harder. So if you want, just put it right in the middle. That would be fine. You can use all the grid lines to make sure you're keeping it straight. And <clears throat> let me show you how you clamp this. We have the screws that you need. We're going to use blue screws in this case. We're going to use blue screws and clamp all this down. Okay. So there we go. Four clamps. Now I put the clamps on the sides. You want to make sure that if your board is at all warped, that it's being pressed down into the into the wasteboard all the way around. If it starts, if it's bubbled up, you're going to have some trouble. So ask me if you need help. Now that it's clamped down, we're going to click carve, and there's a few extra steps. <clears throat> now, here's the piece. They were going to cut a circle. When we click carve. We have a few extra tools here, okay? Now it goes through a similar thing. This is not 0.5 inch MDF. I've updated the thickness and the, and the material, okay? It says, have you clamped down the material? Yes, I have. Usually we have an eighth inch upcut bit. Now it says, move the machine to the lower left corner of your material and lower the bit to the surface. Now right now the machine is off, okay? No, this the controller is not running, so I may slowly move it. Okay, if you start moving it fast, you're going to wreck it. But you could actually pull it a little bit. If the machine is on, you can't do this. Okay, and now that we're close, <clears throat> I'm going to turn the machine on. Okay, now it's locked. It will not let you move. But we still have to get this bit exactly on the corner here. So the controls are here, okay? Y up makes the machine go this way. Y down brings it back to where it was. Same with X to the side, to the side. But what we need <coughs> is to Z down. Now, our bit needs to be exactly on that corner. Now, if I click Z down again, now I'm close. And if I hit Z down again, I'm going to hit. So what I need to do is on these controls, there's this thing down here called the step interval. This means it'll move in one whole inch intervals. So if I hit that and I hit Z up, now it moved a whole inch up. Now it's gonna move a whole inch back down. Those are pretty big steps. Before I was using one tenth inch intervals, but we need to switch to the smaller ones, okay? I'm going to go Z down again until the bit is exactly touching the top. There it is. Okay. 
and I like to be very exact. Now it's exactly where it needs to be. What you're going to do is confirm this home position. Now, because the bit is kind of touching the material, you're going to say, okay, raise the bit up before I turn the spindle on. It will raise the bit up. Now, the last thing it says, confirm that your spindle is on. That is this switch right here on the side. Okay. That makes it spin really fast. You can click the spindle is on and carve once you're actually ready to carve. Now, I've got a little extra setup here. I've made a dust collector. You slide on, tighten up, and the dust collection system will set right on there, open the gate, and turn the dust collector on. Okay, this pulls all the dust up as it's going so we have less to clean up at the end. Okay? The dust collector again, the switch is right here. So you're allowed you can turn this thing on. <clears throat> Make sure that this gate is open. And what will happen is all that dust gets sucked up while the bit is running. Okay? I just noticed that this, there's a gap right here. To correct that, you simply need to loosen the wing nuts on both sides and slowly lower it until the brushes are just barely touching and then tighten it back up. Now that dust collector will be able to pull all that dust up while it's being created. When you're done, you can shut off the machine, shut off the spindle, and that's the X-Car.